and hello everybody my name is V and you're watching February's monthly setup of 2021. How are you guys doing this week? Like I said before I am doing Shada Campbell's theme of the year which is the flowers of the month. For the month of February it is the flower violet. February is really filled with purple. I'm pretty sure the stone for February is also purple. February is also my birthday. Yay! Happy birthday to me. I'm getting one year older in this little house of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. So I'm just doing the cover page much like the January cover page I did previously. If you haven't seen January's monthly setup and would like to, it would probably be linked down below or on my YouTube channel. And while you're at my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, ring the bell, a notification so you can get notified every single time I post. I post bullet journal content, studio vlogs, and I'm thinking of posting other kinds of content as well that could be more useful to you guys. If you have any video suggestions, please be sure to leave them in the comments down below. But like before, I just sketched out a circle with, I believe, a lid that I used. And then I drew the violets on the border of the circle. And now I'm going in with my Crayola color pencils, the star of the show really, to color in the violets themselves. What I like about using the Crayola color pencils is that I could shade better than I can with markers. As you can see, I'm making the tips of each petal dark, and as they gradually come to the center of the flower, they are a lot lighter, and I think that just adds dimension to the drawing and a little bit of texture as well. And all I had to use was one color pencil. So don't be discouraged if you have only like a 12 pack or a 24 pack of color pencils. You don't need every single color of the rainbow to make your drawings look super vibrant. Just use what you have and explore from there. Right now I'm using a green Crayola color pencil to color in the leaves and the stem around the flower. And now I'm going in with my most precious and favorite pen of them all, the Stadler Fineliner. It's a really super thin pen, so I'm trying to thicken up the word February by going over the lines a little bit more. Ideally, I would use a brush pen and a little bit of hand calligraphy. However, I'm not that skilled to do that quite yet, and I'm a little bit too nervous to do it on camera and fail miserably, so i rather not. But it is something I want to get better at and practice at. This I'm kind of regretting, but I'm using my Micron pen and I'm adding little details to the leaves of the flowers and I'm pretty sure I'm going to outline the flower as well, but I think it looks great with just colored pencils in my opinion. The black pen really darkened the entire image and I kind of liked the airy look a lot more, but I'm just going over each leaf and petal with my micron pen just so everything will match. And I believe I left the flowers alone because I didn't want everything to be too darkened by the micron pen. Moving over to the monthly color spread, my camera loses focus in and out from here. I've gotten a lot better at using my camera since then. In my studio vlogs, studio vlogs really make you become one with the camera. <laughs> but again, I'm just using my Crayola color pencil in, I believe, the color violet or purple. And just going over each of the petals. You could kind of see in my sketch, in my pencil sketch, that's right under each petal. First, I drew a circle and then I had the petals line up with the edge of the circle so it could be a perfect circled flower. And then just like the cover page, I'm just filling in every single petal with my colored pencil, making sure the inside of the circle, or sorry, the inside of the petal is a lot lighter than the outside of each petal. And I am filling in the center of the violet with a tiny little dot using my yellow Crayola color pencil. 
At this point, I've also sharpened my green color pencil so I could get a lot finer lines inside the petals. And since I want things to match the front cover of the page, I did go over the leaves in my micron pen again. This also helps it show up in the camera more, as my camera is a little bit overexposed here. Since February is such a short month, I had a lot of extra space at the bottom of my calendar, so I just added more violets at the bottom corner. Again, to make these flowers, first draw a large circle, and then a tiny circle in the center. And from the tiny circle, draw out your petals, so they could all be about the same size. And that's how I drew a violet. I believe we're going a little bit out of focus here, but I'm just using my violet colored pencil to fill in each and every one of those petals. And I believe I said this previously, but this would go a lot faster if I used a Crayola super tip or any sort of marker. However, you wouldn't get this gradient that I'm getting in the petals here. And I think the gradient is what really makes the petals pop. I just used my green Crayola color pencil to fill in all the leaves. And I'm coming back in with my micron pen to do the outline for the leaves and the stem. Moving on to the actual word February, it's spelled so strangely I believe, but I'm just going to outline it with my micron pen since it's already in my hand. I try to use a thicker pen, but really what I need is a brush pen, because these lines are still just too thin, and I feel like they would look a lot better if they were drawn in a more hand calligraphy kind of way instead of such thin lines. But I do my best with the capabilities that I have. Last but finally not least, I'm actually going to draw the calendar spread over on top. Calendar spread, I already sketched out in color pencil so I could get these lines relatively correct. But the best way to draw a straight line is just to move your entire arm across the page instead of just twirling your wrist to draw the line. I find that to be the best way to get a straight line. And you could tell because I do switch from using my wrist and my arm and you could definitely see the difference between how straight the line is when I use my entire arm and not just my wrist. It's not going to be absolutely perfect if you don't use a ruler, but I kind of like that shapey look. It looks more hand drawn to me this way. To make the numbers of the month stand out a little bit more, I'm just filling in the number of dots with my violet color pencil, the same color pencil I used for the petals of the flowers. And then I'm going in and writing each number of the day in my micron pen, and I'm also writing the days of the week on top of the entire calendar. February was a perfect month this year. Moving on to the last two spreads of my monthly setup, this is the mood tracker page and the notes page at the bottom corner. Never do anything extra with my notes, just write the word notes on the bottom and leave the rest of the page blank. Right now I'm filling in with my key with all the different color purple color pencils that I have. But if you only have one purple color pencil, feel free to use a pattern instead like dots, stripes diagonals, that sort of thing. But I'm just using the different colors to color in each petal for a day of the month for my mood tracker. I'm numbering each petal as I go down the page and I also already filled in the stem of each petal with green. So well, that's pretty much it for February's Plan With Me setup. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and tell your friends that I'll be posting a new monthly setup every single month of the year. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Bye!